of conventional anti-fouling measures. Toxicity Concerns Traditional anti-fouling paints containing biocides may not be permissible due to environmental regulations. Physical removal issues, manual removal methods, for example, scrubbing or scraping, are difficult to perform in polar waters due to cold temperatures, ice interference, and safety risks for divers. 6. Impact on vessel operations. Fuel consumption, barnacle infestation increases drag on vessels leading to higher fuel consumption. In polar regions where resupply is limited, this poses significant challenges for shipping and research operations. Hull maintenance delays, ships operating in polar areas may go extended periods without dry docking for hull cleaning, allowing barnacles to proliferate. 7. Scientific and Technological Gaps Lack of polar-specific solutions, many anti-fouling technologies are designed for temperate or tropical waters and may not perform as well in polar conditions. Limited research, the unique dynamics of barnacle growth and colonization in polar areas are not as well studied compared to other regions, hindering the development of effective strategies. Potential solutions to overcome these challenges Development of cold-resistant anti-fouling coatings that can withstand polar conditions and ice abrasion. Use of environmentally friendly anti-fouling technologies, such as non-toxic silicone-based coatings or ultrasonic anti-fouling systems. Implementation of regular dry dock schedules for polar operating vessels to remove barnacles and apply new coatings. Increased research into polar barnacle species and growth dynamics to tailor control strategies for these regions. Controlling barnacle infestations in polar areas is challenging due to extreme environmental conditions, the resilience of polar barnacles, limited accessibility, strict environmental regulations, and the ineffectiveness of conventional anti fouling methods. Controlling barnacle infestation in polar areas presents several challenges due to the unique environmental, biological, and operational factors of these regions. Here are the key challenges 1. Extreme environmental conditions, cold temperatures. The freezing temperatures in polar regions hinder the use of certain anti-fouling methods and materials, as some coatings and chemicals may lose effectiveness in extreme cold. Ice presence The constant presence of sea ice can damage or wear away anti-fouling coatings, reducing their lifespan and effectiveness. Short operational seasons Access to polar waters is limited due to ice cover for most of the year, restricting the time available for maintenance and barnacle removal efforts. 2. Biological Adaptations of Polar Barnacles Resilient species, barnacles in polar areas have adapted to thrive in cold waters, often attaching to ships, underwater structures, and even sea ice. These species can survive under extreme conditions making them harder to eliminate. Rapid growth in favorable periods, during the brief polar summer when conditions are more favorable, barnacle populations can grow quickly and colonize available surfaces. 3. Limited accessibility. Remote locations, polar areas are difficult to access, requiring specialized vessels and equipment to perform cleaning or control measures. Logistical challenges. Transporting anti-fouling materials or divers to these remote regions is costly and time-consuming, making routine maintenance difficult. 4. Environmental Regulations Strict policies, polar regions, especially the Arctic and Antarctic, are protected under international agreements like the Antarctic Treaty and MARPOL. These treaties restrict the use of toxic anti-fouling agents and mandate environmentally friendly methods limiting the available tools for barnacle control. Environmental sensitivity, any intervention must minimize harm to the fragile polar ecosystems, further constraining control options.